should have kept a secret. Please don't keep no secret. Welcome, everyone. Let's talk about the a use case for secret network that every single person can use or should use or well, however it's pertinent to your life. Whether you're blockchain heavy, crypto heavy, or DeFi heavy, or you just kind of just sit there and invest, certain use cases for privacy, you can just use your imagination and they're, they're very plentiful. So if you think about sending money to friends or family that live overseas or even within the same jurisdiction that you live in, there are always thresholds that the government sets that you cannot exceed or that person has to pay said taxes or you have to report it or this and that or you have to pay absor like exorbitant fees. So if you're using PayPal, you want to check like send to friends and family in order to avoid the fees. Or if you're using another service, you have to make specify that you're sending to friends or family in order to avoid these fees. It's very difficult to send money to people that don't live within the jurisdiction, same jurisdiction as you. And, you know, you can't just hand them cash because they're not right next to you. And you may need to hand them money for certain purposes to hold or, you know, you, whatever the use case may be. But with Secret Network, Secret Network is a privacy it's not private by default, it's public by default, but there are privacy features. So one way to send money to a friend or a family, or if you just want to send money at very cheap rates without it being broadcasted to the world, you can use Secret Secret. And if you have a Kepler wallet, you can access Secret Secret. So if you purchase Secret, another person creates a wallet and has Secret in their wallet, you can convert secret to secret secret and you you can do it for f fractions of a dollar, usually like a couple pennies, one penny or two pennies. And then all of a sudden your token is a secret token and you can send that to someone else and then they can make their secret 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 or whatever they want to do with it. If they just want to keep it private and undiscoverable, that's on them as well. But it's great to send money from party A to party B without disclosing your transaction on a public blockchain. And it's a way to either communicate or send money to friends and family or send money to person A or person B without it just being open for the world to see. And it is one of the best use cases, I think, that Secret Network has to offer. And now we can couple this in with the Shade Protocol. Shade Protocol just released the Shade Swap and they have their own private stable coin which is a SNP25 token so if you look at Ethereum they have ERC20 tokens we have SNP25 tokens and these are private by default so they have a stable coin called Silk and Silk is not pegged to the dollar but pegged to a basket of currencies that can change depending on governance features right now I believe it's a dollar and six cents it's pegged to USDC, USDT, and a couple of other assets. I think staked Atom. So the weight is, is dispersed amongst lots of different cryptocurrencies in order to mitigate risk. But if you wanted to send money, like theoretically, if you wanted to send money to someone and you didn't want to send a volatile asset like Secret, all you have to do have, is have minuscule amounts of Secret in your wallet and send a SNP20 stable coin to that particular person so they can have a dollar like coin or a euro like coin or a yen like coin in which it doesn't experience lots of volatility and they can easily cash out by converting it to atom or converting it to another coin and selling it on a major exchange change so that could happen in a fraction of a time it takes to send a wire when you send wires overseas you have to pay $35 for same day wire for international fees. There are all these fees that are tacked on and sending money shouldn't have so much friction. It really shouldn't. There are plenty of reasons why you need to send money to person A, person B. A family member could be overseas and they just need money in order to survive a particular situation. Or, you know, they need money for a hotel for a night. And there's, there's really, it's really difficult to send money through Western Union because they have to go to a particular unit. Uh, they have to go up to a particular Walmart or a location in order to cash out that particular amount of money. 
So using SNP25 assets to send money from person A to person B is really a use case that should be explored more often. And you know, in the future when there are large crypto giveaways or large crypto lotteries, there's no reason why every person needs to know every single transaction that happened. There's no reason why. So there are plenty of use cases to figure out exactly how to send money privately from party A to party B. And um, all it takes is a couple of secret wallets and just sending those tokens. And it could take you, it's not, it's not gonna cost you more than three to four cents to, to complete the transaction from going from secret secret to secret and going from secret to secret secret. And for SNP20 tokens, SNP25 tokens, you can just send them. You can just send them and it was only gonna cost you a couple cents. So what do you think about these use cases? Have you used them before? Have you sent money to a friend or family using blockchain? Has it been exposed? And what do you think about using private tokens in order to send money from party A to party B? Um, I hope this helps. I think the future is looking bright. A lot of people don't understand this use case. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right. Um, version 1.9 for Secret is coming out soon. I think the proposal was posted today. All right. Have a great day. Bye.